Ladies and gentlemen, the iVic Gaming Service is now arriving in Platform 1, and today's service is yet another train race. We are uh, on the... well, I'm with LMR Fan 600 again. I found a castle. Um, <laughs> I don't know what castle it is, I just found it. Um, I went away from my train, because the frame was getting a little bit poor. Um... Which means I'm definitely recording this time, at least. Uh, I can't find my train now. Oh, help. Yes, we are back on the Falmouth Ranch line from race two. Found it. It's alright, got it. Uh, going from Falmouth up to Truro, up branch platform. We've then got to run around our train and take it back to Falmouth. Well, I've got to run around the fucking train because explain to the audience I've what been... you've got to do. Well, I've been smart in this, and because I came up with the idea first, it means it's mine and I'm going with it. Um, we're basically doing diesels, as you can see, yes. because we've not done this yet, diesel versus diesel, and we were trying to decide which diesels to use each, and I, I went class 20s. And, and uh, Scott was like, yeah, that's okay, <laughs> forgetting that I need two and can sandwich them. So I have a class 20 at one end and a class 20 at another. So all I have to do when I get to Truro is switch ends and go back out again. Meanwhile, I uh, have the magnificent, the genesis of the class 55, the DP1 Deltic. French blue, lovely cream bands and lovely silver roof. It's one of the actual very few diesels that I like. And is still going to lose. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to fucking win it this time. Well, I don't think you are. <laughs> Considering you have, like you said, you have to run around your train. I do not. But as long as I do it... I could very easily come off, but you, I don't have to run around my train. Mm -hmm. I've also got a little bit of scenery. I've actually done some scenery work. Yeah, I this don't. One, so I have two... P I did... And I'm regretting it now because the frame rate is terrible. Uh, I, I've i got two panniers, as you can see. One in Great Western, the other one in BR Early, I think. Early Crest. We also have over here... Um, hang on, can't remember the name of it. Dumbleton Hall. And I like that name because it's funny, to be honest. Uh, 4920. And over here we have the Falmouth version of the Little Red Twat. Um, <laughs> okay, Invincible from the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Yep, pulling a little freight train, or sitting with a little freight train here. I think, oh, that's everything, I've got some coaches as well. Yeah, we we'll explain why he calls it the little red twat later on, because they have patched it, to my knowledge, since. Yes, they have done, finally. Right. Uh, uh, we've also got a start, um, yes. kind of. Mine's already started. Because that's the way it happens. I've got to I've got to flick a couple of switches, put a key in, and then get going basically. Meanwhile, I've just got to flick the buttons for the engine start up, which I actually had yeah. to switch off because the default is engine running. So as you can see now, I think with mine's the on the default. Hub, yeah, mine with the F five hood, you can but... now see it says engine off. That should change once once I uh, push the relevant buttons. Mine says engine on, so I don't know how to turn it off. And I, well, I wouldn't know how to turn it off. I would not know how to turn it back on again, <laughs> so I'm not risking it, to be quite honest. Right. Shall we get going then? I think we shall. Hope all my points are set properly. Yes. Um, uh, I did try to set this up like a scenario, but I could not get it to work. So this is free run. So the only sort of gauge that we've got of where we are is who's closest to what station because we don't have an overall mileage yeah we'll just have to work it out as we go basically yeah. so three so, two are we loading passengers at this station as well there yeah, why not it'll give me a chance to start the engine up all right i'm okay, loading I'm now yeah i've so got some loading on. Shall I do the countdown stuff so we can get our engines prepped and then we can just piss off? Yep. Then? 
Right. Three, two, one. Right, in. Um, oh shit, I need to put that up. The Deltic actually has a nice bit of a hum to it. Turn the brakes. Right, I'm done. Knife. I'm off. Oh no, the doors aren't closed. Close, doors, close! Thank you. I'm going to... We'll get to 10 miles an hour. 20. Oh, I hope my frame rate gets better. Center player. Check me point work ahead. It's currently at 15 frames per second, but I know that it's not 15 frames per second because for some reason it doesn't um, go lower than 15, even though it's quite clear that you're doing less than 15 frames per second. Right. Point work through uh, Speeding, yes, I know I'm speeding. What speed are you doing now? 34. 45. I'm just banging on Truro. You know, because I think, I think Truro is where I'm going to make up the time, really. Yeah. But I sort of I have an unfair advantage slightly because I, because I was trying to set it up like a scenario so I could run around and points change automatically, all that sort of stuff. I know how fast I can go. <laughs> Whereas I'm guessing. But I've also got... Guessing's more fun. Yeah, I've also got to be careful because the brakes on the Deltic are shit. <laughs> Coming down from 100 mile an hour is a ball to try and get it to stop on a dime. Because <laughs> it doesn't. I think I might have broken one of my bells or my, or one of my horns. I'm clicking the B button and it is not working. <laughs> so, I, so all I have is like the high pitched one. I don't have the, I don't have the lower one. That's annoying. God's sake. I had to pick the coaches that don't have a interior view, do I? <laughs> I usually get a better frame rate. Oh well, screw it. I'm changing the view to the uh, head out of cab window. I'm doing 50 miles an hour. 70. One mile from Penryn. <coughs> Why is the bell broken? External. I only have broken this bell. Graphic settings as well, I can't do much else. I don't think your computer likes recording full stop. I don't think it does. But, oh well. Yeah, this actually makes a bit of a change from driving diesel because I don't normally like driving them. And this is. Oh, my frame rate! Oh no! Oh, there you go, it's fine. And 
this is why the throttle is at maximum the reverse is at maximum and it's just going there's nothing for me to constantly be engaged with and like the steam engines where I've either got to keep me on the fire mass, the water, the steam pressure and how much I'm fucking using yeah but diesels are easy so well yes they I like they're them. easier but I just find them boring to drive I mean they're nice to look at some of them I do admit that I'm still broken I was hoping it might fix but well I think we're actually going to be coming up to one of my other trains as well. So I'm going to check and see if it's still there. Oh god, the frame rate. 1.6 miles from Perrinwell. Congratulations on your victory. Um, <laughs> Hogwarts Castle is still here and it's really back in my very bright. I could still come off at Truro though, because don't forget, coming into the up branch platform, there's that crappy S Bend thingy that I came off on the first time. Yeah, there is. So let's hope you come off again. Yeah, but because I'm, I mean, what station are you at? Pen Penryn. Just gone past Penryn. So you're about two miles behind me or something. Yeah, but you've still got to run rounds. If you come off, then that's even more funny. Yeah, but I won't because I'll use the hill to slow me down. No, I still think you come off. That Sparnock Tunnel. Centre play it should be. Or is there one station before? Nope. Sparnock Tunnel is coming into Truro. Doing 112. So if I... Well, so you're just coming into Truro? Nope. Well, I'm coming up to Sparnock Tunnel, but after Sparnock Tunnel is Truro. <sighs> but as you said, it could be the run round. Like, yes, I've put about two miles between us, but it just depends on how quick I can get my engine to stop run round and get going again. Oh shit, I just thought I'm going to have to do the same stuff I did with my... Oh, I'm just going to... I'm going to have to do the um, the whole bell thing, whatever it's called. The, um, the AWS, I'm going to have to turn that on and off as well. Really? In the other cab, yeah, because it won't be on in the other cab, so I'll have to turn it on. Right, if I start braking now on the downhill, doing 85, you'll hopefully still come on. <laughs> ah, that you see, I've learned, Jack. I've learned not to go bombing it I'm down the hill into there. fucking Truro. I'm nowhere near true, in fact I'm nowhere near Penryn, to be honest, I've not even gone through Penryn Tunnel yet. So I have left on my point work right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, done the point work right. I'm in the tunnel. Right, I've got a rough idea where you are then. It's when you get to Sparnock Tunnel that I'm more concerned about. Just passing the loco sheds. Or break. Break. I'm not coming off today. Seventy-eight miles an hour. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe I should put them on like multiple class 20s or something. Well, then I'd have to have multiple Deltics so. then. Yeah, but you wouldn't know, so. Right, run round time. Come on, Deltic. There you go. Well, I know I've lost this anyway, so... Yeah, but I can't too, go too quickly, remember? Because, as I said, crap breaks. <laughs> I don't want to go, like, four mile up the bridge overshooting the points. Viaduct, the Carnan Viaduct. You'll become a Sparnak Tunnel then. Nearly, yeah. Uh... Shit, 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 shit. Quite full break, you. Uh, where are you? There. Change. B -b 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 Wrong point. Right, I'm coming to the tunnel. Enter the tunnel, whatever it is, Sparner. Mm -hmm. Was it was it control minus? Yeah, so the cab right. T load the passengers. Okay, right, power down. Come on, come on. Oh my frame rate's terrible around Truro. Load, 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 load. I'm away.
goods yard? What? Hang on. Oh, we fucked our point where, Gov. <laughs> Nope, it's alright. Damn! It's alright now, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna point out, this is the first time I've actually made it back. So, I've actually got no idea what the route's gonna entail for me. Because, with the multiple trial runs up, to Truro because I couldn't run around my train with the scenario features in place. Yeah. So this could be fun. Uh, right, found the stop platform. Where are we? Just exited Sparnock Tunnel. Yeah, you definitely want this. Not yet. Don't forget, I've got the other stations to go back through, and I have no idea what they're going to be like. Because I've already gone up to Truro, I've never gone back down to Falmouth. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, I've done, it, I've done Truro to Falmouth many times, you'll be alright. Go to what speeds though? Because I'm about to do a. Um, I'm about to do 100 through Perrinwell. Oh, well, I've never done 100 before, so you could be fucked at that point. Okay, okay, thank you for the warning. Right, Deltic, I know you've got shitty brakes. Do me a favour. Work. I'm glad I did. I'm back down to 60. <laughs> Elves. Might be a bit too late for save there, but we'll see. No, that's fine. Right, power on. Paranormal's dealt with. I do like the horn on the Deltic, I will admit. Quite a nice two tone. My one's shitty. <laughs> as is this, as are these diesels, I should say, because it's not technically one diesel, it's two diesels. to go through the um, 
Spa, is it Sparnock? Sparnock Sparnock one. What's the fastest you've ever gone through Penrith? Uh, no idea. I genuinely can't remember. Right. Throttle down then. Coasting. Back to go through 86. I'm going to do about 70 through Pen. What is it? Pen something. Uh, Pen. Perrinwell. Oh, Perrinwell, yeah. I'm fine doing about 87 mile an hour through. Which one was it? Penryn. I'm braking now because I'm on just about to pass uh, Penmere. I'm just cruising along really at 69 miles an hour. <laughs> I suppose really you are at a uh, disadvantage. Because yes, you've got two low codes, but I've got the express engine. You got good diesels, haven't you? Them, the twenties were mainly freight work. Yeah, and let's also not forget my frame rate issues, which really slow me down. Mm, true. Although that's not uh, impeded you in other races, though, right? Because I haven't recorded the majority of the other races. Yeah, true. Because I know that the frame rate's going to be bad either way. So I just don't add the extra load onto the computer, but this time I thought using OBS it'd be alright, but it's actually no different to using Bandicam, so realistically, you know, my frame rate's going to be a bit of an issue. Just about to pass the home signal outside of Falmouth. Yeah, I'm still miles away.
If we had to do a run round at Falmouth, that would be much more difficult. Because we'd have to it's pull into like... not possible. No, we'd have to pull into a loop. Like, there is like a set of points in the station. We'd have to use that to run round our train. And then push the coaches in. Yeah. Right, you miserable lot, off you get. Well done on your win, I am only at Penrith. <laughs> Yay, I've actually won one without coming off the tracks. But it was in a fucking diesel. A win's a win. Hmm. Yes, uh... <laughs> In terms of actual races, this is the proper ninth race. I made a vocal error on the last one. So that actually makes it 6-3. So I still have a chance to finish the series off with a tiebreaker. Well, with it being 6-all. I'm going to make sure I'm, we make a race next time that I can win. <laughs> I will do something that has very high frame rates. I will do everything in my power to uh, make sure I make it four six on the next time. Mm -hmm. I think I might just stop. I don't. I don't think there's much point in me even trying to get to Falmouth. It's not like I can't get there. It's just it's going to take way too long. I'm not even at Penmere yet. So that's it then, you're just giving up, are you? I'm giving up. The 20s were a good idea in, in, theory, in theory, the fact that you don't have to run around, but they are slow. <laughs> they can only do sort of like 80 miles an hour tops. And this is why you should have done test runs. I did, I did just not... Well, to be honest, I did do test runs, a couple, and to be honest, I expected, I did not think yours was going to be that quick so it was the the deltic was designed to replace the likes of the grizzly a3s and fours of course it's going to be fucking fast i mean i didn't know that did i <laughs> the a4s could belt out 90 mile an hour back in the days of steam easy yeah i didn't know that <laughs> oh now you do <laughs> Now, yeah, now I do, and I would have gone for something much quicker. Maybe something like a 47 or something. Mm. Yeah. Might have had a special little kick to it, but, you know. <laughs> Why would it have been the Super 47 by any fucking chance? No, it would have just been an Intercity one. How would that give an extra kick to the 47 then? Because it's intercity. That doesn't mean fuck all. Sleek. Sleek. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna crash at Falmer. You're still recording that. Not even. 
I am genuinely still recording, but I'm just going to crash. All right, then. I'm about... I'm less than a mile away from Falmouth, so... I'm just going to crash it. I'll keep mine going then, so uh, I mean, that'll be a spectacle to see. Or, like, your viewpoint of the video will just take over completely. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and sit at Falmouth. <laughs> with my shit frame rate. I'm going to go have a view, look around Falmouth docks. Because I've, I've been in Falmouth docks, but I've never truly uh, gone around the entire extent of it. Nice. I can see my train, it's coming in very hot. It might even come off before. There's a lot of tight corners and industrial sidings. Is it going to come off before? Oh, it's, it's leaning! It lent! <laughs> and now it crashed. That was incredible. It actually was leaning on two wheels. Not it didn't derail, but it was leaning on two wheels going round that corner into the station. Uh, kind kind of uh, like I was in the V two in the race eight. Yeah. Mm. That was incredible. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen. That does it for yet another race. It is 6-3, still in uh, Jack's favour, but as I said, I do have the opportunity now to make it a draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for now, I just really quickly... the service is terminated and the train is leaving the station. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.